Okay, we're doing a quick review of the holes of the skull. Foramen magnum, and here where the dark ink mark is, hypoglossal canal. We go to a cluster of three, mastoid process and styloid process of the temporal bone, right in between, right there, stylo, mastoid foramen. We go in front. There's a dark hole there, oval shaped, and then there's a big kidney bean shaped hole behind it. That's the jugular foramen and the carotid canal. Then we go here onto the sphenoid. We have our pterygoid processes, and we have our lateral plates, and we have our medial plates, and at the base of each plate, hole, 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 hole. Foramen ovale, foramen lacerum, foramen lacerum, foramen ovale. There's a third one in this group, right here where this dark blue area is. I'll put the stick in it, see if it stays. Does want to stay. Foramen spinosum. Spinosum ovale lacerum. Carotid, jugular, stylomaster. Foramen magnum, hypoglossal. If you look in the eye, all right, you see there's some crevices in there, right? The upper one. Okay, the upper one and the lower one. This is the superior orbital fissure and the inferior orbital fissure. They make a V-shape, right? And then there's a hole. So I'm gonna get the stick coming through the hole. Let's see if we can capture this special moment on the video. And there it is, wow, okay? That is the optic canal, the optic canal, all right? There's also a foramen rotundum. We're not really gonna to focus too much on it, but there is another hole in the air of the eye called the foramen rotundum. It doesn't, stick doesn't go all the way through, okay? And there's our Cristagalli, cribiform plate, and there are little holes in that called the olfactory foramen.